Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Sol here and today is Monday, November 28th and we have Hammerman fleet just outside of our island ready to attack us. So we're going to go ahead and defend against them. Um, just shortly, I dedicated my time upgrading my sniper towers from the last time. Uh, that's what I've been doing for the last few days. Um, right now the average level of my base is 15.6 out of 19.2 of that a max base would have if you were average every single defense including the mines that means that, that right now i'm 81.4 percent out of max uh, so we're going to go ahead and load as usual my circle base circle base here we go we have some trees in the way unfortunate but there we go. Um, so here we go. Let's uh, move in the damage amplifier here. Hot pot here. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I have the rocket launcher outside just to make sure that I can get for the few, first few stages really, really quickly. Let's go ahead and find Hammerman. So warriors, heavies, riflemen, tanks, and Sukas. So that's, that's a little bit of a Noah's Ark going on there. All right, so first group, heavies, warriors, sukas, and tanks. So those warriors are going to get wrecked, no problem there on the, on, on the minefield. You have some riflemen going on the, on the, on the right, but that's going to go pretty quickly. And I think we're going to be able to defend without losing, all. we're going to lose a, a building there on the bottom. Because we don't have anything to counter those riflemen. So we're going to end up losing a bit, two buildings. But then the minefield are going to destroy them for sure. Come on, come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Stage one, done. Circle base, victorious. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Um, how are you finding Hammerman? Are you... Finding it difficult to defeat? Is it is it easy? You know, what's your strategy? Are you following my circle base design or are you doing something else? So here we go. Stage two, warriors, sukas, and heavies. Lots of warriors, which is good because then they're gonna get again. Uh, they're gonna get grouped in the right and left corners by those buildings. Therefore, um, once they start getting out of those, they're gonna walk together to the minefield and get wrecked. So that entire heavy force got reduced to what two two warriors left of the entire group the sukas that went with them also got destroyed the same thing is going to happen with the heavies and the sukas you see that that first wave boom is going to die and the second wave boom is going to die too there we go now come the rocket launchers the shock launchers everything comes online and gets wrecked All right, now that we destroy that, that way there, then that right that um, rocket launcher on the edge is gonna switch targets and attack the the warriors. However, I don't think he has enough uh, damage. No, he doesn't. So they're gonna be able to survive. Let's speed this up. They're gonna be able to survive the barrages until it comes in range of the boom cannon. Once that happens, then they're gonna perish. Good, so that's stage two, done. Two compass gears, one intel. All right, let's take a look at stage three. Tanks, riflemen, heavies, and grenadiers. Ooh, 32 of them. Uh, let's, uh, well, as I've mentioned lots of times before, the fact that the grenadiers are on the last spot means that the grenadiers are going to be landed last. So I'm going to take a gamble and not change my base layout and just go for it. If we have to, uh, if I fail, then I'll, I'll change the layout. Now the tanks, heavies, and riflemen got landed right in the middle. However, we're being lucky, and every single troop is going to go to the right. Except one heavy, which is good. Nah, the tanks are going back now. Ooh, that's not good, guys. That's 32 grenadiers, all going to the same side with tanks and heavies this is not good are we gonna have a fail on, on stage three i hope not 
we're not gonna fail if if those if those heavies die quickly then it's not gonna be a failure but if this if, if what just happened right now were to happen on stage five or six uh, for sure we would have lost but we'll see now we're gonna survive this those uh grenadiers are not surviving the combined barrages of amped up rocket launchers so we're gonna be we're gonna be good That boom cannon is picking up heavies left and right. Is he going to be able to kill? I want to see if it's one-shotting them. I want to see if, we, if it can one-shot those tanks. Oh, yeah. He can. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's put this up. This stage is almost done. So that was stage three. Two gears again and one into. That's nice. giving me the parts that I need. Let me see how many parts. Mm. Yeah, that's the one that I'm highly upset about. Gears and 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 critical fuses. All right, let's take a look at stage four. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Right from and Lucas. Come on. Let's see them get wrecked on the base, on the beach. All right, so he's barraging the front flame thrower by the rocket launcher and the sniper tower on the back. Now this is what I love about this. Those all those sukas are gonna get wrecked. Oh look at that. They even they didn't even made it to the um, to the rocket launcher range. Yeah, if you're having trouble with Hammerman, my, the approach that I did when I was upgrading, I, I, my strategy was to upgrade for him. You know, do the upgrade so that it will be more effective for Hammerman. Mainly because it would give me more valuable stuff. Then later on, I started upgrading stuff that would counter the attacks. I never minded um, if I was raided. Uh, it was part of the game for me. I, I, it was part of the normal. So. I never minded it, so I upgraded my mines. My upgrading the mines was highly important because that essentially released the tension from the other defenses of doing a lot more work than they needed. Then I upgraded my mortars, uh, flamethrowers, machine gun. Um, but the first thing bef before before after, you know the mines are one thing because they're they're armory upgrades, but rocket launchers and shot launchers. Those were the things I focused my 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 aim first. Then it was mortars, machine gun, and flamethrowers. You see, right now there are level uh, flamethrowers level thirteen, machine guns level sixteen, and mortars are what? Mortars are level sixteen too. So once I got them to that level, that where they could one shot sukas, then I stopped. I stopped operating them, and then I started focusing on cannons and boom cannons. The last thing I did was snipers. All right, so let's take a look at stage five. He's bringing tanks, sukas. Riflemen and heavies, no medics. So that's good. Again, he's landing the troops. Last week he was landing all the troops in one corner. Today he's landing the troops in the middle. Which I mean it's not it's not a huge problem, but if I could get that wave to just go one side, then my mines would be a hell more a hell a hell lot more effective than they are right now. You see now again they're splitting up. Roughly 50-50. Oh, and I need to remind myself to move that rocket launcher to the middle. To the middle of the pack. And one thing that you'll notice is I lost a lot of my defenses already in the middle. And I'm sorry for the lag for the lag that you're noticing. It's just when there are a lot of troops, my device I don't know if it's my device or if it happens to anybody else. Let me know in the comment if it does that your device lags the way it is. Well, that hotpot is going to town, rock boosted our amped up rocket launcher, amped up um, shock launcher are just devouring those troops right there. Yeah, the, the, the massive troops that went to the left is already done, just one tank left. 
and then a bunch of heavies and tanks on the other side. I don't think we're gonna have any troubles with this because we have two rocket launch two two rocket launchers active and and we're gonna have two shock launchers. However, this shock launcher right here does not have the range all the way through. It's only when the heavies get close to it where they're gonna have to start having range. There we go. Now the other rocket launcher is firing. Oh yeah, we're gonna have this no problem at all. Those amtop cannons are destroying. Are they one shotting the tanks? Oh, we cannot tell because now they are not in range. They are not in range of the tanks. So now it's just a matter of the rocket launchers. There we go. Stage five, it's done. We haven't changed the layout. This is the regular layout of the of the base. Um, so from stages one through five, let me show you really quickly right here. That's the grid of the base. Let me see if I can zoom it out. You can see it all, all in one shot. So that this is the layout that we used to be stage one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna. I'm gonna have to change it for stage six for sure. And the change that I'm gonna do mainly. Let me look at what he's bringing. All right. So he's bringing a lot of riflemen, a scorcher, and a grenadier. All right. So the change. The change that I'm gonna do. It's number one. I'm gonna move this rocket launcher into I'm top position. So I want that rocket launcher I'm top. I'm gonna move because of the grenadiers. I'm gonna move these two buildings. Here to the top. The idea is that if a grenadier comes in, he's gonna shoot sort of in this direction, therefore avoiding hitting the mines running here. The same with it, with this other building. He's gonna shoot sort of in sort of in this direction towards where this the bushes are. So he's not gonna be able to hit. Now I'm gonna make an executive call. I'm gonna keep these buildings right here. If I fail, then I'm gonna have to move them. Hopefully the grenadiers come. Yeah, hopefully the grenadiers are gonna come on the right side, but knowing my luck, that's not gonna happen. So we'll see. Ooh, that um, yeah. So now we know for sure that the grenadiers are gonna come on the on the left side, which is not what we wanted. Oh no, yes, he's sending, he's sending the rifleman first. Uh, well, this is gonna be good then, because then, I'll, I'll, you know, they're gonna destroy the, fir the first set of buildings, which is what I wanted. So when the grenadiers come in, they're gonna, they're gonna essentially come into the range of the cannons and the boom cannons. All those riflemen are gonna perish due to the hot pot. Yeah, there we go. Come on, rocket launchers, fire, fire, fire. Is there still another wave of grenadiers? Yeah, there we go. So that scorcher might be problematic. Um, but we'll see. Let me zoom in here. I think, I think, I think we're gonna have this. No, we're not. Those grenadiers are gonna kill the rocket launcher and we're gonna die a slow death <laughs> due to rocket launchers. Come on, come on, come on, kill them. Oh no. Oh, so close, that was so close, guys. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the recording here and I'm gonna review what got, bar what got barrage and then come back. That way you're not wasting time with me while reviewing footage and we can make the video quick. All right, I'll be back. Like I said, I'll be back in a second. All right, and we are back. 
So just a few modifications you can see here. I move these two cannons that were here, here and here. So I moved them outside because they were getting barrage out. Um, this machine gun was right here and I moved it up so that uh, it was getting targeted by artillery and losing like 99% of itself. So it was not worth it to keep it there. The other thing I did was to move the buildings. That This building was right here on the corner. So I moved that up and I added more buildings here in the front. The idea is, or was, or you know, was, and it ended up working the way, was to essentially push the first wave that landed somewhere around on this side of the beach to move this way. And therefore, wave one, two, three, and actually wave four would actually land on this, would be directed to go towards the left. Wave number five, the final wave, would then be directed to go to the left, to the right, and going around. Therefore, giving time for my buildings here to destroy the first few waves, or the first four waves. Um, let me show you right now the layout. Move this mine out of the way so you can copy the grid if you want to. All right, I'm going to give you a few seconds. You, If you want, you can hit pause and do a print screen and then go to your device and copy if you need it to. All right, so let's take a look at the replay. Right, you're going to see first wave, um, whereas on the, my first attempt, they went in, um, divided themselves and go left and right. Now that entire first wave is going to go to the left. You can see the HP left on that machine gun. It was just worthless to, to keep in the front. Now some of the riflemen went up and I got a little bit um, concerned about that because my mines were not that effective, but three rocket launchers, amped up rocket launchers, just make short work of those riflemen. And then you have amped up flamethrowers, amped up machine guns, mortars. It just, it, it was just devastating for them. They you see, they're just dying left and right. Oh, that was right here was the other machine gun that was targeted by GBE, so it's moved out of the way. Now come the Grenadiers with the third wave. Third wave? Fourth wave? I, I lost count. But again, they're getting, they're being just shooed up by those, by the hot pot, by the machine gun. There was an unlucky shock there, I didn't notice. So, if I would have to repeat that again, then that flamethrower has to go because I don't want my shocks getting shot. That's I don't know. Oh, you see, the last wave landed somewhere in here, and because they were closer to the right side, then they went to the right. So this allows time for my number one. They spread out, and number two, that allows time for my defenses to slowly pick them up as they approach. Because remember, this rocket launcher has range all the way to there. Then so. As the rifleman slowly approach, my 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 rocket launcher can slowly start decreasing the health as they approach. There we go. That, that after the, the wave of riflemen are about to be dealt with. And that's it. Now all that remains is grenadiers, and uh, yeah, rocket launchers are are the perfect friend <laughs> of grenadiers. So it takes an entire salvo for to, to of amped up rocket launcher to destroy a fully, um, you know, a healthy grenadier. So we're talking about. Uh, 64 times 2. I think that's the damage we do per second. All right, so that was stage. That was stage number. Stage number six. Let's take a look at what he's bringing. Oh yeah, so he's bringing he's bringing the uh, uh, rifleman, sukas, and medics. And because of that, I'm just gonna load my regular base. So again. If you if if you were wondering, this is what stage seven uh, the sol my solution for stage number six looks like. I'm gonna now load my regular base again, and just in case you missed it, that's the layout for my regular base. Again, hit pause if you need to hit pause. 
um, and copy if you need to copy. Okay, so let's take a let's, let's take a crack. I think if he doesn't do like overkill barrages, I'm gonna be able to defend this no problem in the first try. And we'll know pretty soon if he's doing like crazy barrages. Because I think it was like two, three weeks ago he was just doing so much. He was barraging like two of my rocket launchers and one of the shock launchers out on the first on the first wave. It seems that he's doing most of the critters this time, critters and artillery instead of barrage, which is nice. This this is what I love about this. That's like that's like a hundred riflemen just dying there by mines. Freaking insane. Alright, the first line of defense is gone, but Hot Pot is there to prevent any further progression from those troops. <laughs> Look at how quickly they melt. It's not even fair for him. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I, a lot of players think that essentially the Hot Pot is just for Hammer Man, and that, that's what I have it for, but it helps on regular defenses. All that I care is getting one or two intel per attack. You can take all, all the loot you want. I'm already upgrading what I need to upgrade it, to be upgrading. This is done guys, that's that's gonna be it for him. But yeah, I think, I think Damage Champ and Hot Pot, best combination, you know, gives you the more vers most versatility. Um, it amps up your rocket launchers and and it helps it helps against against mostly everything there we go stage seven it's done hammer man stages one through seven done with the circle base stages one through five done with the standard stages stages one through five and seven done with the standard circle base that i usually use and then stage six just require a little bit of tweaking because of the grenadiers And that's about it guys that's all i have for you um i hope it helps you and uh, if it did please smack the like button um also click that subscribe button that just appeared in the middle of the screen and there there's going to be a couple of videos that you might be interested in the left and right so in any case that's about all that we have for today so it's checking out later